Alright. <laughs> Alright. Hey there, everyone. Mr. Felix here, and with me today we have the Nintendo Reviewer. Hello. And uh, I figured we'd start the year off with something nice, family friendly, and horrifically violent. Happy winter, everybody. This is Manhunt 2 for the Nintendo Wii, and let's get started. Yes, it is a murder game for the Wii. What of it? I know, right? But you know, we're adults, and we're going to be doing adult things and doing whatever the hell we want, because that's the way we roll. Exactly. We're perfectly mature adults playing a mature game. So how much uh, how much do you know about uh, like Manhunt 2? Um, I I think you may have showed me this game at some point a few years ago. I think so. Was it during like one of my drunken benders or anything? Because no. I have vague memories of. I'm pretty sure you were sober at the time. It may have been the same time that you showed me Conquer. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right, actually. So, um, what this game is about is uh, you play uh, a head scientist called Daniel Lamb, who is in charge of this shadowy operation. Of course, uh, like all things, it all went wrong, and now he's uh, confined in a cell in an insane asylum. Sounds like a likely ending. Or a dark beginning. Those beautiful graphics. <laughs> yeah, um... Oh, there we go. Was it just downscaled for Wii, or was this originally a 6th gen game? Um, it was... For, um... It was multi-platform, so it was for the uh, Wii, PS2... Uh, and the PSP, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, and then later on um, they released it on uh, PC. Oh, yeah. Because um, <clears throat> when it was um, released on uh, the Wii, PS2, and PSP, uh, they uh, were originally threatened with an AO rating, which would have effectively banned oh, the yeah. game. But um, they ended up uh, cutting, cutting um, certain executions out and I'm um, changing some stuff here and there, as you'll, as I'll point out later on, in order to get an M rating. And uh, a few years afterward, though, they released it uh, in its full unrated glory on the PC, and um, I think it was available for a while, but they took it down, but I think they re-released it uh, a few years back. Hmm. All right, let's get started. Yes, yeah, to my knowledge, I believe that... Um... AO games are typically only released for computers. Oh, uh, pretty much, since um, most uh, places that sell games, they don't release... Um, they, yeah. Uh, yeah, they won't release any AO games. Yeah, that's part of the whole thing with the AO rating, is that most retailers just won't carry it at all. So yeah, it's pretty much, um, you get an AO rating, that's a kiss of death right there. Yeah. Alright, and so we've got our two difficulties, uh, Sane and Insane, and the only real difference is, uh, Sane, you get a map radar to show where, like, everyone is, uh, and Insane, uh, you don't get the map, so it makes it a bit harder. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we'll go with Sane for now, though. Yeah. Get that all started right here. That was that save data. There's just something a little ironic about watching all this, and I see right next to my TV is my Kirby amiibo. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's still looking so happy. He's like, people are going to be murdered. Oh, speaking of, uh, we're going to get a brief tutorial on how to perform said murders. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll begin it here. And uh, as you can see, each of these is done with um, the Wiimote and the nunchuck. Right now, we'll just go... There we go, and you know you're doing like, it yeah, right like, because <laughs> you, get a, you get a nice splatter of blood and the sound of... There we go. And then... And once more with feeling! Should we be having as much enjoyment out of just the tutorial as we are? Oh, nonsense. It's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're not murderers, people. We swear. Luckily, they don't see me crossing my fingers. <laughs> but yeah, um, this was another thing that gained a uh, controversy for the game. It is um, people were freaking out because it was being released on uh, what was many people assumed to be like a very family-friendly console. Yeah. 
And uh, it didn't help that there were motion controls, so people yeah. got the idea that um, but this would uh, start teaching, like... <laughs> Press the B button. <laughs> it would start teaching people, you know, how to commit murder, and um, which is fucking stupid. It is stupid, dude. Like, I'm seeing these controls that you're doing, and like, no, I don't think murder is this easy. Yeah, I mean, like, if this teaches you to be a murderer, then by all means, trauma center teach would have made me a master surgeon by now, and um, for those of you who I have operated on and failed, please don't sue. <laughs> If you're still alive. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> Go moving on. <laughs> Alright. They won't find it. They won't find Jimbo's body. Yeah, which is the reason why he wasn't seen during the last, you know, Nintendo reviewer thing. Also, maybe that's why he didn't show up to rehearsal for the vampire film we're doing. Pretty much. Huh, for some reason. Huh. Something not work. Something not registering. Oh, it looks like the music is skip tutorial would be. There we go. Okay, okay for I, some I don't reason know what that the was, but... yeah, brief, uh, brief little thing, everyone. <laughs> but yeah, uh... <clears throat> now we can get started proper. Oh yeah. I'm just like waiting for some little Nintendo plug, just because it's on the Wii. <laughs> there's like some, but there's like some uh, insane asylum patient named Mario. Oh god, this is like you've got a. Uh... It turns out like the a lot of the uh, Nintendo characters were actually uh, just people in a loony bin who were having horrible hallucinations. Oh god. I think there was something like that about uh, Winnie the Pooh characters. Oh yeah, each one uh, represented like a different uh, mental... Uh... Mental or psychological disorder. Yeah. Uh, shit, I'm trying to remember like... Uh, remember like Eeyore was... Um, Eeyore was depression. Depression. Uh... I don't remember the rest of them though. Same here though. Um, it's it's a pretty cool thing and like um, I was surprised at how well each of them matched up with the characters. Yeah. So yeah, here we have our protagonist who is, um, he's in a, a good place right now, you know, oh, nice, yeah. healthy, strangling his doctor with a syringe jammed in his arm. <laughs> you know things are going well for him. Somewhere along the line he made good choices. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we, uh, don't think we, uh, noticed him last time, but here's our second, uh, protagonist. His name is Leo. Yeah. Oh. Who is, uh, gonna be helping us get out of this place. I hear Leo, I just think of my co my coworker at the job I used to have. He was hilarious. Was he also a crazy, uh, ax- was he a, uh, ax-crazy lunatic? No, he was crazy, but he wasn't a loon- he wasn't an ax-lunatic, as far as I know. Leo, as, as far as you know. <laughs> Leo, if you're watching, you're not a lunatic, right? Well, so yeah, um, this pretty much acts as the uh, tutorial to get us familiar with a lot of the gameplay. Yeah, more than the motion controls that teach your kids how to kill. All right, so because it's a it's a stealth game, uh, pretty much. Uh, you've got shadows that you yeah. can hide in, and uh, yeah, the little health bar turns blue when um, you're safely hidden. Hmm. And uh, the first part is we're gonna start sneaking around, and uh, if we can make it past these guys... Yeah, here we go. So yeah, we got the radar in the corner that shows uh, where enemies are. However, they'll only show up if they're moving or making some kind of noise. Oh. If they're standing still... Yeah, and the little arrow will turn uh, different colors depending on whether or not they're aware of your presence. Become quite familiar with this. I've been playing a lot of Splinter Cell Blacklist lately. Uh oh. Oh, we were. Oh, what the? God. oh God. Oh yeah. If uh, if you're spotted, however, during this, um, you get uh, doused with uh, some unpleasant bodily fluids. Apparently. Also, you, uh, Leo scolds you. <laughs> well, I can understand that. You'll have to do better than that, Danny. However, uh, since we're here, let's go and see what the other ones were like. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh! Oh, oh God, oh. that's nasty! <laughs> uh, oh, God, he's still going! Oh. 
Oh. Uh. Oh, that's... Alright, so we've got... We've got shit, we've got piss, and, uh, the... This guy's the least worse of them all, because he's just spitting on you. Yeah, he's just rude. But everybody oh. here is that shit insane. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that sets the tone for the game pretty well. <laughs> I would say, good thing this isn't on my channel, but I did review Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, so I can't oh, talk too much. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh and, uh... Yeah, this is... This is a pleasant game. That's not how you turn on a light bulb. Hold on, I'm punching the meat rock. <laughs> <laughs> rocky, rocky. <laughs> Ooh, oh shit! All right, Damn it, rock. <laughs> All right, enough playing around. We've got work to do. All right, uh, we're gonna continue on, and this is where we get our first actual kill. This guy stands between you and free. And uh, you you can't get um if you go head on and just fight everyone, um, you're gonna get your ass kicked. So, uh, we're gonna learn about, uh, executions. And so we stand behind, and we hold down the, uh, A button, and, uh, as you can see, it changes color. We've got white, which is hasty, yellow is violent. Let's go for gruesome. Oh, dear. And... Oh, Jesus. But I can, I can kind of see the censorship, though. Oh, yeah, that was, um... Yeah, for because of how um, blurry that got. Yeah, for um, yeah, to change uh, to get the M rating, yeah, they uh, made it a lot blurrier. You can see it more though in the PS2 version because it p just put an orange filter over everything, as opposed to you know the black and white and gray that we get for the Wii. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, that's right. This was in the area, the era of when ragdoll physics were popular. Oh yeah. Alright, just gonna go strolling along, and we, uh, sometimes, uh, fights are unavoidable, yeah. and you're gonna learn how, how to defend yourself. Is it boxing weak motion? Oh, controls? yeah. So, yeah, we've got... How'd I know? Uh, just got... Ooh. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, these, um, the, um... Not a big fan of uh, the hand-to-hand -hand in this, as opposed to the original Manhunt, which was a lot faster and more violent. Oh, yeah. This one feels, though, like... Did good. Uh, now, go uh, first uh, your now, there there are some... There are actually some third-person action games that do Wii boxing range. motion controls very well, and one of them was the Godfather Black Hand Edition, which I reviewed, um, I think, in... Yeah, in 2013, I reviewed it. Oh, nice. So, like, it actually... You, using boxing controls for that, you, this is before Motion Plus, too, it actually does work pretty well to, like, beat the crap out of somebody oh, with the Wii Button Nunchuck on that remember? game. I believe it's a lot better than, um, like, yeah, what we're seeing, like, here. Yeah, this this one seems like it was Although, I guess it makes well. sense because this one's supposed to make you focus more on, you know, stealth than outright fighting. Yeah, that is true. This is more of a stealth game than The Godfather. Alright, let's go for Hasty. Yeah. Yeah, they can kind of get away with that blurring that they're doing because it's the whole psychological thriller. Yeah, like thing. it also like works with uh, Danny's character because he's losing his mind. Yeah. So he's probably freaking out during all of this. Also, uh, like uh, some like you know aesthetic differences, um, oh, <laughs> differences <laughs> between uh, the PS2, the PlayStation versions, and this one is uh in this one um the more executions you do, the more covered with blood Danny gets. Oh. Huh. Uh yeah, you didn't get that on the uh, PlayStation version. Also in this one, you get more uh, weapons in different areas. It's interesting. See, this is what I like to say that the Wii was not just for kids-friendly games. And um, video games do not make you violent. I did a whole 18 minute video on why games don't make you violent, but I'm gonna say it again because apparently parents still think that. Yeah, the. Also, kids are not the biggest demographic of gamers anymore, as exactly. evidenced by the fact that we're playing this. Yeah, as like also as evidenced by like how the majority of games out there are rated like you know they're for mature audiences. Yeah, and they're they're targeted towards like older people. Like, actually, the majority of gamers, I think they did a study on this, the majority of them are in their late 20s. Oh, yeah. Because they started gaming in the 80s. That makes sense. Like, you know, as games changed, uh, like, everyone grew up with them. Yeah. Ooh, uh, 
Let's. All right, I'm uh, gonna swap the pen for a glass shard. I was gonna say that is a big blade. <laughs> yeah, look that at is. look at the fucking size of this thing. It's... Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, weapons come in different uh, flavors. You've got green weapons that can be used only once. Hmm. Uh, the next up, we'll see later on. But um, oh, Ooh. looks like we got a fight going on. Somebody's losing. Well, you guys take care of that. Yeah. Like, uh, right. But yeah, uh, video games, the, um, they're they're not gonna turn anyone into like you know killers or anything like that any more than you know rock music or movies or anything yeah. like that. It's just, and in the most cases where like they tried to pin the blame on video games, um, these people were already mentally unstable to exactly. begin with. They just happened to play games as, like, you know, in their free time. Yeah, that's what I said in my video. Like, people cited the Columbine kids. Like, well, they were already screwed up to begin with. They just so happened to play shooters. That was a coincidence. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Just gonna... All right, let's get go. the hell out of here. All right, we got another pin on the ground, but, uh... We're not gonna be using that and ooh. Oh oh. Oh well, it looks Some, like somebody was unlucky. Yeah, it looks like he didn't get out of the elevator in time. So this game is meant for five year olds, right? Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, E for everyone. <laughs> well <Them> graphics. <laughs> they just remind me of like the desert storm graphics. That's another thing that um one of the things I didn't like as much about uh, Manhunt 2 as compared to the original is that the original came out in uh, 2003 on the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. Oh, really? And it actually looks a lot... I don't know, it looks a lot, to me, a lot better. Really? Yeah. Um, I was gonna end up... Ooh, let's go for it. Ooh. Oh! Ooh, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just right across the throat and into the yeah. gut a lot. Oh, great, Dan. Oh boy. Yeah, you're doing great, Danny. Oh, this Way guy. To... <laughs> this guy's mentoring you, and I can't see where he is at all. Is he just like a phantom? That, um, it actually, it's doing similar to what, um, the original Manhunt did, where, um, you had, uh, someone communicating to you throughout the whole thing. However, in the original Manhunt, you had an earpiece. Oh, uh, okay, so that made sense. This, though, it's a bit more ambiguous, which, um, is explained later on. Ooh. Oh, I see you have a sledgehammer. Yep. Ooh. So as you can see, uh, the patients are treated as fairly as possible, and the doctors here have good bedside manner. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. But yeah, um, yep, guard, sledgehammer, and uh, as you can see, uh, it has a uh, the little icon's red, which means it's a heavy weapon, which means it's stronger. However, like in an actual fight, it's a lot slower, though. Yeah. It's powerful, but slow, so if you, if you miss... I guess that's why when I, when I train, I like to go for more of a speed approach. Oh, yeah. Is somebody chasing you? Yep. So right. you think there's enough blood in here? Um, I think we could go for a bit more. <laughs> Alright, just kind of... Lure him <laughs> over here. This is reminding me so much of Splinter Cell, except way more dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> except much more! <laughs> like, just when you thought that Pandora Tomorrow was gruesome with that brain scene in um, the, the Paris mission. Bam! <laughs> and right across the head. Eesh. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, in the uh, AO version, any and all damage to like strikes to the head with uh, like heavy weapons results in the head just exploding. Oh god. See, so, yeah, it's it's pretty fucking gruesome. Although that kind of confuses me about the AO rating, only because I've seen heads explode in Resident Evil 4, which is rated M. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Um, this is like. This and um, the Punisher video game are probably the uh, only few uh, games out there that got slapped with the uh, AO rating for violence. Because the AO rating is usually uh, 
exclusive to those that are like you know ver have a lot of uh, uncensored sex and stuff. Yeah. Oof. Oof. I see that was kind of censored in that they focused the angle on him. Oh yeah, they yeah they uh, have the filter and they um change the angle so you see very little of the strikes that are going on. This is what I get for going to film school. I know what they did with the angles. <laughs> <laughs> It's artsy like that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've seen um we've oh, seen so that was kind of a puzzle there. Oh yeah. So we've seen a bit of the uh like two executions from um from the sledgehammer. Let's see what the pen's like and see if it is indeed mightier than the sword. Oh hey. Oh the And we have a volunteer right here. Thank you for volunteering, good sir. Oh, ooh. Oh, right up and through the jaw. Ooh, get the point. <laughs> <laughs> I want to write you a letter. Inked in straight red. from straight from my pen to your heart. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> All right, just gonna lure this guy over here, and we're gonna go for another uh, pen execution. Okay. Oh, I see where's I see where's coming. Yep. And so yeah, the little icon changes to like an upper or lower triangle depending on whether they're above or below you. Okay. You know, I would think that we have, as humans, we have enough night vision that he would have seen you. Oh yeah, that's a. Uh, oh yeah, that's like a little. But oh, it's a, it's a similar thing in um. In a and cell. the eyes. <laughs> Oof. Oh. And yeah, that whole uh, aesthetic with the blood, yeah, Danny's <laughs> starting to get it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's one of the things like a lot of people like said were like a bit unrealistic about um, the Manhunt games, where you've got like they can be like a few feet away from you, and when you're in the shadows and they don't see a damn thing. But yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not realistic like, say, um, like a Splinter Cell does, especially like Chaos Theory. I find, um, I was actually in Pandora Tomorrow, maybe, well, actually Chaos Theory is a bit more realistic because Pandora Tomorrow just, like, wraps up the difficulty in a way that doesn't really make sense. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> like smashing watermelons. <laughs> Alright, gonna go for another glass shard, and we're almost out of here. Yeah, I was about to say, it makes sense if you smash that window, you can get out that way. Yep. So, uh, we need to go into the garbage truck, however, we need to, uh, get rid of these guys over here first. Okay. Oh, fuck, actually, he's walking. Whap! <laughs> 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 Alright, take care of you. Oh, and, uh, hide the body in the because it's a stealth game, uh... uh again, with hiding the bodies. Yep, don't want to attract too much attention. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, uh, we're later gonna get introduced to lure weapons, which we can, uh, throw to, uh, distract, uh, well, the enemies in the game are called hunters. And, uh, a way to distract them is we've got throwing items, including severed heads. Oh, and uh, nothing gets them a l more pissed off than seeing their buddy's head just, like, you know, plopped on the ground. Well, how would you feel you see Brenny's head hit you? Well, probably confused. <laughs> 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 and surprised that this didn't happen sooner. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, I love you, Brenny. <laughs> he leaves a hate comment on your video. Or chops my head off. Uh-oh. <laughs> or yours. Oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I can handle him. <laughs> All right, gonna go for another glass shard one. As soon as we can get the jump on him. Yeah, because I hate these when he's waiting at what seems like a good place, and then he turns around at the last minute. Like, no, he saw, he saw me. Let's go for a hasty. Oh, oh, that went low. Ah. I saw correctly. Yeah, what he did was he jumped on him like piggyback style, and then stabbed a bit in the gut before stabbing it there and dragging it upward. Ooh. Yeah, that's another thing with, um, the executions in this one, is that, um, the ones in the original Manhunt were violent, but they were quick. 
Danny and Leo drag it out. Mm. And it it makes sense as to why later on. But yeah, that's I guess another reason why um people got all whatever about it, because it's Yeah, I it's guess, yeah. I can see why people flip their shit about this game, but I still say it's bullshit to play oh, yeah. real world violence on this. Oh, and, um, at the end of, uh, each level, we get, uh, well, um, in the original Manhunt, we got, um, each level ended with a score screen, and, uh, the more, uh, gruesome you did your executions, the higher you scored. Oh, boy. That was another thing people got pissy about that they ended up having to remove for, uh, the, uh, to get uh, an M rating. To, to not encourage people. Yeah, so you weren't rewarding violence and stuff, um, however, um... In uh, this one, though, uh, the score thing actually played into the uh, endings. This one actually has uh, two endings. Hmm. And uh, you would uh, get different endings depending on uh, whether or not you were actually more violent. Oh, boy. <laughs> so the more violent you were, you'd get have a higher chance of getting the uh, bad ending. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, it would have actually punished you in that regard, but nope. No hmm. score. Instead, we get... We Level get, complete, and then this huge <laughs> blank space where a score was supposed yeah. to be. <laughs> like, nothing was supposed to go here. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope, not whatsoever. Well, I think that wraps up, uh, you know, our uh, first video for this Let's Play. Uh, what do you think of it so far? Um, very kid-friendly. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah. You know, it's, and it's nice to have you on board for this, especially... Yeah. My little appearance on the Felix channel. Ah, to a long and thriving Let's Play. Yeah. This is Mr. Felix and the Nintendo Reviewer, and we're signing off for now. Bye. Catch you later.